This is Curtis Myers, Caster Concepts. Today I'm gonna to show you how to measure a caster. Uh, today we got the caster upside down. Typically you'd uh, have the caster flipped around the right way. Um, we would start with the bolt hole pattern. So you'd have bolts coming down through the, the bolt holes. Um, and then you're gonna measure the center of those bolts with the width and the length. Um, if you don't have uh, bolts coming down, maybe you have the caster welded on or you have, you have something else holding the caster on, then you're gonna measure the bolt hole pattern, which then you're gonna to wanna to measure the, the outsides of the, of the slots and the inside of the slots for the width and the length. Uh, the other thing to measure would be the width and length of the overall top plate as well. Um, once you have those dimensions, the next thing to do would be to measure the overall height. So you're gonna measure from the top of the top plate all the way to the bottom of the wheel. Um, that measurement is going to give you the overall height of the caster. Next, you're going to want to measure your wheel diameter and then also the width of the wheel. Um, in this case, we have a twergo wheel, so you're going to want to make, make sure you measure all three discs together to give you that overall width. Um, after that, you're going to measure your swivel lead. The swivel lead is the distance from the center of your swivel section to the center of the axle. So the best you can, Try to measure that distance to figure out what the offset of the wheel is. After that, you should have a good baseline of what kind of caster you need. The only next thing would be what kind of wheel material you have on your wheel to tell your caster expert so they can spec the right caster for you. This is Curtis Myers, Caster Concepts, and that's how you measure a caster.